Okay, we're st still talking about the progressive era or progressivism. Remember, this is the time after the Civil War when the United States, our country, was trying to move forward. So what was happening? What were some of the things that were happening? There was a lot of inventions. Things were being invented. Um, like the refrigerator and the car and the radio. There were lots of inventions going on during the progressive era. Remember, progressive means to move forward, to do better, to discover new things. So this is what was happening during the progressive era. And we talked about how children were used to help with all of the work, all of this new work all of these new inventions somebody had to work right there were a lot of factories and a lot of um, this was a time w that we call industrial a lot of um, things were being created so there were a lot of factories and children had to work in those factories right so this is a story about one little girl and it's probably a true story but uh, it's also a sad story. So let's read it. This, The language is a little different. It's from a long time ago. But we're going to take our time and read this story and figure out what happened to this little girl named Mary Richards. Okay? Child labor during the Industrial Revolution. Okay? A girl named Mary Richards who was thought remarkably pretty at the workhouse and was not quite 10 years of age. She worked at the drawing frame. Okay, so this is Mary Richards. Everybody at the factory thought she was such a pretty little girl. She was 10 years old. As she worked um, in a factory, on a machine called the drawing frame and I'm not exactly sure what a drawing frame is but you can see that things are around it um, it looks like threads and they might have been making fabric okay for clothes or um, something like that right okay and so these wheels are probably spinning 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 okay and she's making sure everything it's done correctly. Everything is in place so that the machine can do its job, right? Okay, so let's keep reading. Below the machine and about a foot from the floor was a horizontal shaft. Okay, so this must be the horizontal shaft. Okay, there was a horizontal shaft by which the frames above were turned. So these framing things uh, sit on this shaft and they turn around, turn around, they spin around. It looks like threads. That's why I'm thinking fabrics, okay? And so they probably spin around all day just making fabric, right? Okay, it happened one evening. So listen, these kids are working in the evening. We don't go to school during the evening, but these children were working in the evening, okay? They've probably been working all morning, all day, and now it's evening, and Mary Richards is still at work, okay? It happened one evening when her apron was caught by the shaft. Oh, no, her apron got caught in the shaft. In an instant, so quickly, the poor girl was drawn in by irresistible force and dashed on the floor. So her apron got caught, okay, and it pulled her body in. She uttered the most heart-rending shrieks. Ah! That's a shriek. She screamed. The floor manager, her manager, her boss, he ran towards her. An agonized and helpless beholder of a horror, of a scene of horror. So what that's saying is her boss ran over to her, the man, 
yeah, I'm sure the, the boss was probably a man. He ran over to her because he heard her screaming. Because her apron got caught into these spinning wheels. These, spin it, these spinners. And she screamed so loud. So he ran over. And he agonized. That means he was, oh my gosh. Oh no. That's agonized. And he was helpless. He, he didn't know how to help her. And because it was a scene of horror, I mean, it was like, oh, no, it was scary. It was like, oh, my gosh, what has happened to little Mary Richards? Oh, no. He saw her whirled around and around with the shaft. He heard the bones of her arms and her legs and her thighs successively snap asunder, crushed seemingly to atoms as the machinery whirled her around and drew tighter and tighter her body within the works so her body is just being crushed she got pulled into that machine and her bones are being broken and she screamed and she's being crushed okay and guess what it says to atoms. That means it seems like her body was being broken into little bits. Atoms are tiny, tiny things, right? So this is kind of a metaphor. Her body wasn't really blow, broken into atoms, but she was. there was a lot of breaking bones and a lot of damage. Okay, She was being crushed. All right. And it was pulling her tighter and tighter in. And guess what? Her blood was scattered over the frame and it streamed upon the floor. So she's got blood all over the frame. Her blood is running down the floor. Her head appeared to be dashed into pieces. Oh no, her head was crushed. Her skull was broken into pieces. At last, her mangled body was jammed in so fast between the shafts and the floor. So it just pulled her into the shaft, pulled her in, and her body was mangled. It means it was broken and twisted, okay? And it was jammed in so fast between the shaft and the floor that the water being low and the wheels off the gear, it stopped the main shaft. Finally, it stopped. And when she was extricated, means when she was taken out, when they finally got her loose, every bone was found broken. All of her bones were just broken. And her head was dreadfully crushed. The poor girl was carried off quite lifeless. She had no life left. That means she died. This poor beautiful girl died. Okay, let's look at her. See if we can get her to zoom in. Poor Mary, pretty little 10-year-old girl, right? So children should not be working in places like this. It's too dangerous. And at 10 years old, she may not have known exactly how to keep herself safe, right? So that was a really sad story of poor Mary Richards, okay? But we're going to answer some questions now. Alrighty. Talk to you soon.